Hi guys, it's me, Dimension Battles, and we have all of set 9. That's right, so many of you wanted to see the all of set 9. It's been like spamming my comments. That's not actually that bad. It's actually really cool to see how passionate you guys are. But anyways, so many of you wanted to see all of set 9, and I've been excited to do it. The reason why I didn't do an all of set 9 video sooner is because I started college, which is a pretty interesting thing, I guess. And I knew that I barely have any free time once it started, so my master strategy was to... What, what did I do? I, I completely... Oh, I pre-recorded four videos ahead of time. So that's why it took so long to do an all of set nine video. So here we are. Here's all of set nine. Hopefully I said set nine in the intro. I don't remember if I did. But this is all of set nine. I've actually already started working on set ten. So that's pretty exciting. Anyways, first off, we have Beast Knight. They stage two common 200 power and 200 defense. And when somebody you can add Night Beast from your deck to your hand. I don't think I ever added Night Beast to combo with this card. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Maybe in set ten I'll make Night Beast. I have no idea. We have Explosion, the item card from set 1 that can destroy all creatures. And the future item card called Future Explosion. The Ultra Rare Stage 4 destroy all cards on the field and one card at random from both players' hands. Which is a pretty overpowered effect. It can play on top of the item card. I was going to make more future item cards, but I really only made the one because I realized maybe future item cards wouldn't work the greatest. But don't worry, there'll be cool ideas in set 10. Um, the cards are by my family. We have my uncle who made Bicycle. Equipped to a stage the less creature, can only attack directly. And my cousin made Indy. This is her dog. It's like an Indiana Jones theme. Stage 1 common with danger power and 100 defense. We have my uncle who made Wave. A stage 1 common. All water types in your field gain 100 power. Oh my, my voice cracked. 100 power this turn, which is a good item card. My other uncle made Starman. When destroyed, destroyed the creature, destroyed this card. A good 2 type card with 400 power and 400 defense. And then my grandma made dual flowers, a stage 2 common, you could equip to a grass type, and it gains 200 defense, more good cards. Then we have the card that my mom made, that's right, made a reveal about that. We have armor and casement, equip this card to an opponent's attacking creature, negate the attack at the end of your opponent's turn, um, summon this card inside the field and discard this card. Which is a really cool ability, so basically, I made a whole video explaining it. you put this over it, and then there's like a little card inside where you can see the butterfly, which is the monarch, really nice looking. This card can only this wait let me take that. This card can only attack directly at the end of the turn. You discard this card, which is a really good ability, and it's an air type. So many of you guys want to see more types. So yeah, we have an air type, and I put it inside this nice little see-through card sleeve that I have. So that's really fun. Then we have Thorns and their Dragon, the one that I made while they all drew. Stage two common when when you attack, do one hundred damage to the creature that attack this one attack. You do one hundred damage to the creature attack this card. Then we have Skeleton Dragon and the future form of Skeleton Dragon called Future Skeleton Dragon. You can summon this card normally, as well as a future summon, which is a really strong ability because we need more future cards. I was thinking, like, if I ever sold more of my future cards, like, what happens if you open up a booster pack and you get the future card, but not the... Oh, I dropped all my cards. That's amazing. I thought, what if you get the future card, but not the original one, right? So in case that happens, that's why I made that ability. So, yep. Future Skeleton Dragon. Then we have Old Frost Beast, a good rare card. Um, you can pay one token to stage one ice type from your field, so from your deck, some more ice type support. Then we have a classic card, Creton, and then we have the evolved form Future Creton. He has like a trident and everything, looking really fancy. Um, this card attack is attacked, you must roll a die, and if you do, you add the attack continues, but if it's even, you negate the attack, which is a really nice ability, especially because Creton didn't have an ability, so the future form has one now. Mechanical Laser Soldier, once per game, this card can battle twice, and then the future version says the card can attack every creature on the field during each turn, which is a really powerful and overpowered ability. <laughs> then we have High Tech Construction Worker. Uh, if there's a light type card on your field, you can switch the power and defense once per game to either player's turn, which is a good effect, so you can, like, attack and then switch it so he has more defense, so a nice ability. Then we have a stage one common called, card called Thief. Pick one card in your opponent's hand and add it to your hand. A nice item card. There's going to be a lot more item cards in set 10, so that'll be fun. Then we have Chain Grim Reaper, a stage 1 common. You can discard this card from hand to deal 3 damage to your opponent's health. That is really powerful. <laughs> Holy smokes, I didn't know I made such an overpowered ability. You have to understand that these cards, I made them like 7 months ago or so. I've been doing set 9 for a while now. And yeah, like it, I've been working on this set 9s in the red deck box. Oh, pff, I did. I put the flash sticker on the red doc deck box. It's almost ironic because I think set 9 is like my longest. It's like my longest set. Yeah, it's been taking the longest to make. But set 10 will be cool. Um, We have Cursed Jester, a stage 1 rare. Summon this card to your opponent's field instead of yours. The one this creature takes 1 damage to their health every time they draw a card, which is a nice ability. Almost like you're poisoning them. That's kind of the idea. 
Goblin Knight, uh, this attack gains 100 defense, but when it attacks, it loses 100 power, so that's a little interesting. Uh, oh, he gains 100 power. Oh, that's a good effect. There's no negative downside. I guess because he has a shield and a sword. Pretty interesting. Dragon Gauntlet, equipped to a dragon card, gains 200 power. More dragon card um, for the dragon archetype. Flame Armored Bird. If you have no creatures on your field, this card is the only card in your hand. You can play him for free. A nice effect. Happy Punisher, a classic card with no effect, so I don't have to read too much. Supercharged Golem, another card with no effect, but we like the no effect cards. And then I, I added more cards without effects in the game because it, you know, kind of simplifies it. Uh, I don't know. Like, there's so many effects now. It, it adds variety. When when did a wing bird, wing warrior, when destroyed, add a uh, air type card uh, creature. Wait, <laughs> can't read. When destroyed, add an air type creature that is stage one or less from your deck to your hand. No, it's a good effect. Uh, same thing for cursed wing beast. The same exact effect. So that's pretty cool. Then we have fan. Oh, that's, I went through making air type support. So fan. Uh, um, the equipped card is now considered an air type while equipped, and it gains 100 defense for every air type on the field, which is a nice ability because not a lot of air types in the game, so this is a way to make or add more air types. I'll, I'll probably do the same thing for ice types. Blade Bearing Bird, a stage 2 rare. When summoned, there's another air type on your field, you gain a token. Pretty good. Wind Knight, another nice air type, no effect, but a good card nonetheless. Then we have Toast. You can draw one card. I love this item card. Oh, and then we have Makeshift Technology. The item card that's the ugliest one ever. I don't even know if I'm going to show, but... The good creature gains 100 defense and 100 and loses 100 power. It's a part of the game now, whatever. <laughs> Restrained Earth Soldier. A stage 2 common. Pay 2 tokens when you attack with this creature. If you don't, this card's power becomes 300. I was actually a little bit under the weather when I was making this card, so that's how I ended up making a stage 2 with 800 power. I was, like, so tired, but I still wanted to draw. And then that's how I ended up making a card that has more power than it should have and i was like oh darn it what should i do now i was like shoot what should i do so he already looks so menacing with the chains and like the sharp weapon ready to like attack someone but so i was like it might as well have strong power but then it was way too much so that's why you have to pay two tokens to attack with them frozen vampire and more ice type support um you can play him for f uh, when it destroys a creature you summon to your field but only has 100 power and 100 defense we have thorn bolt a nice card High security equipped to a creature. The equipped creature can't be destroyed by card effects. This is the one where my friend showed these cards. It was a funny video. Definitely check it out. I had my classmate review my card games, so that was hilarious. We have Wanted Poster, a stage 4 ultra rare. Um, this card stays on your item card zone unless destroyed. The declared name of a creature while it's on the field, that creature cannot be played. So a nice card, and it will be good for strategies and stuff like that. We have Pig Dragon, a stage 1 common once per game. When destroyed by an opponent's creature, you can summon him back for free. Another nice card with 200 power and 100 defense. Thunder Dasher, a stage 2 rare. You can discard a card from your hand and it can attack direct. Oh wait, discard a card from your hand so this card can attack directly, which is a good ability. They have Ice Assailant. I think we're getting onto the new cards now that you guys probably haven't seen. It stays 1 common. When destroyed, you can add an Ice Up card from your deck to your hand. Nice ability. Actually, I made these during live streams, so you probably saw it then. We have Dark Flare Dragon, a stage 3 rare. I love the artwork for this card. It looks incredible. This card, two cards from your hand, and this card can attack twice this turn. A nice ability, and a good stage 3 with 400 power and 500 defense. Then we have Cyber Enhanced Shark. When this card destroys a creature, discard one card from your opponent's hand. He has 300 power and 100 defense, and a good 2-type card. Then we have Destruction Mech, a stage 1, and every time this card is attacked, it gains 100 power. He has 100 power and 400 defense. Well, I didn't even write down the rarity. Nobody, I remember making this live. Nobody during the live stream caught that, I guess. I mean, I didn't notice it either, so... I can't blame you guys. Uh, it's a common card, I guess. Not the greatest effect. That'll be a common card. Yeah, that's hilarious. Nobody nobody noticed how I didn't write down the rarity. Everyone just... Blissful ignorance, I guess. Actually, I don't know. It's almost impossible to notice these things. I feel like every All of Set Something videos, I notice a mistake. We have Platinum Peacock. A stage 2 rare. When this card is destroyed, you can target one creature. And it cannot attack during that player's next turn. It has 300 power and 300 defense. And the last card of the game is Flight Pack. A nice item card. Equipped to an air type. It can attack directly this turn. And you can only do this once. Another nice ability. And more air type support. So yeah, this was my All of Set 9 video. We have every single card from Set 9. I don't know why Toast. But okay, let me cut up the ugly one. We have All of Set 9 right here. Every single card. This will make a good thumbnail, I guess. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Bye, guys.